Some might say that sunshine follows thunder. Go and tell it to a man that cannot shine. Some might say that sunshine follows thunder. Meaning that, well, even when you're having a bad day, tomorrow might be a good day. Even if you are in the heart of depression, that will soon fade away and the sun will start shining again. But tell that to a man who can't shine. Tell that to a man who can never see himself coming out of his darkness. And so, very profound words in that song. And it's kind of like when I'm speaking, I'm pretty well doing the same. Telling it to a man that cannot shine. Telling it to people that will never be in that expanse of consciousness. Unless they have a profound shift in their consciousness. And that's why when people have depression uh, and, you know, things like that and they're not happy with their lives, then they fly all around the world to go and take ayahuasca because they've got a pretty good idea that having a psychedelic uh, upheaval, an entheogen, having God speak to them is going to change the way they see the world. That's what it is. When they are uh, unified with God, entheogen to be with God when they take entheogens they unify themselves with God they see God and then they snap outside of their depression outside of their automated consciousness and they instantly become aware that they are living in a different world entirely and they look at everything differently and it's absolutely astounding and this is why I'm saying, and, and as I speak to you now, I'm looking at these bulrushes, uh, which have gone to seed, and they're blowing in the wind and the sunlight. And I know that that is the cosmos consciousness communicating with me. That's the Tao. That's the Tao Te Ching. And if you don't, uh, if you don't have a relationship with the Tao, then you don't have a relationship with consciousness and you don't have a relationship with God you don't have a relationship with the world you don't have a relationship with the cosmos you are dead you are just automaton you are only an egoic program who hasn't yet woken up and probably never will unless you do something radical to change that so some people in recent times have suggested that I would speak with someone uh, and saying to me that you're always saying that you want to speak with people well here's someone and I'll pay because he needs paying and uh, I, I listen to this dude and I'm like well he's just a, a, a pure atheist he's as dry as balsa wood there isn't a, a single cell in his whole body and he doesn't have a, 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 the, the smallest spark of God consciousness. He is a complete and auto automaton. He's dead. Why would I want to speak with the dead? Jesus didn't want to speak with the dead. And I'm doing no more, no less than what Jesus did. I want to speak with the living. Why do I want to? just bang my head against a brick wall speaking to a, a dumb fuck atheist they're dumb as they fucking come they're just completely wrapped up in their own ego of what they think they know and I watched this dude there was a couple of Christians putting their bit over and this dude a disgusting heinous creature he is he, he, he was like <sighs> <sighs> Is it my turn to just blow these idiots out of the water with my vast superior knowledge of why there isn't a God? Just fucking look at yourself, dude. Look at the world. Look at all this stuff that you don't fucking have a clue what it is and you don't think there's a God. Fucking muppet. 
And so then this dude that's then saying to me, oh, uh, yeah, you're, you're scared uh, because he'll, he'll destroy you. And oh, fucking hell. You know, all I said to this dude is like, uh, in the comments, and like, he doesn't have a name, doesn't have a face, he just has a conglomeration of letters and numbers. He's nothing more than fucking binary. In actual fact, he's just like, he's probably a, a bot from fucking chat GPT. Um, nothing more than that, just scared cunts. The fucking, gee, I've got no time. I've got no time. Uh, just scared, groveling, little insignificant nothings that can't even fucking have the balls to put their own face and name up. They're just scared, terrified, hiding behind a conglomerate of fucking binary. Oh, it's just laughable. And then you've got the audacity to, to, to speak with me. But anyway, as I'm playing uh, at being um, an ego, then I'll address that. And uh, I'll say, look, the reason why I don't want to get involved in stupid bullshit like that is because it doesn't derive any pleasure for me. Um, oh, you just want people who agree with you. No. You've watched my videos for so long and yet you still don't even know that. Shame on your tiny little egoic smidgen of, of a fucking program that you call consciousness. Why I want to speak with people is because I want to share experiences like I've had. It's like if I'm a chef and I'm cooking, you know, delicious food, then I want people with taste buds to be able to enjoy it. And then speak about it and say, well, that was superb. Um, oh, I mean, if you don't mind me saying, uh, a little bit more salt or a little less pepper. Okay, yeah, cool. But that's for your palate. What about you? What about you? What oh, no, for me, it's fine. Oh, we didn't have enough salt in for me. And, you know, you see where we're going. And so it's just, you know, if, if I am um, a, a, a chef, I am a restaurateur, then I want to entice people to come and eat my food and enjoy my creation and then maybe they will offer me some of their recipes maybe they're chefs and cooks and the like and then they'll go have you tried this hey it'd be wonderful if you could make that and bang it on the menu i'll go fucking cool i'll try that one and so what i'm looking for is spirited people not dead fucks when are you gonna get it I'm not interested in dead folks, I'm interested in people who are spirited. You know it when you are, if you're not, you, you just fucking don't know what I'm talking about. But when you're spirited, you know it. And that's it, you see, there's a vast difference between spirited beings and automaton. And uh, the automaton haven't got a clue because they are in a tiny little fucking concentric circle where we, awakened folk, are outside, a fucking million miles away. And, you know, I speak like this, you know, one reason, just, just so the, the automatons just go away. Just, you, you don't know what I'm talking about. You've never known what, I've to what I'm talking about. I don't know why the fuck you're here. You, you know, and you're too stupid to ask the question, why are you here? You've just fallen on my videos once upon a time, and then you've just fallen into a groove. And, you, you know, so stop wasting your lives. Go and pack some fucking chicken or something. You know, for goodness sake. I mean, some autom automatons, they're, they're, they're good musicians and, you know, maybe, you know, you can do stuff like that. Maybe you, you can create it in another, another way. Maybe you've got some sort of a program like that. Go and do that, you know, cool. But you, there's no point in you being here and there's no point in you commenting and there's no point in you watching these videos. So I'm going to be speaking with somebody this afternoon and hopefully some of you might gather or guess or appreciate why I want to speak to people like this. Because we're going to be speaking. We're going to be asking questions and answering the same questions as why we have come to know what we know uh, or think we know what we know or the experiences that we've had and what they mean to us and how we see the world now. What is it that, you know, God is and love is and, and Jesus is and, you know, the, the cosmos? What, what is all this stuff? We're just being spiritualists. We're just being philosophers. We're being thinking people. We're just enjoying the human experience. Now, what pleasure could I possibly get by speaking to an atheist who is going to discount every single thing that I said 
because he, he, he's, his tiny little mind has never even once ventured into the outer extremities of where I'm speaking to him from. Why would anybody want to, to even suggest such a conversation? I'll tell you why it is. Because if people have felt that they have been smited by the things I've said, then they're looking for someone to smite me. And then they seek out someone who they think is really intelligent and really quick. And he will put Wake and Brave in his place. He will destroy him. And then everyone can see that he's just in a delusion of his own. Oh God, go, go back to that Muppetry Bible that you, 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 you thump all the time. Good God, man, what's wrong with you people? And you know, we've had enough, um, you know, interactions, um, you know, in, in the comments and, and, and you, you all seem to be constantly unhappy and yet you're still here. <laughs> oh dear. Go figure, people. Go figure. That's all I can say. And so I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. Um, you know, endeavouring to eliminate um, uh, all the automatons, all of the non-believers, all of the um, uh, low conscious beings that are falling onto my channel for whatever reason. Maybe it was the beer and pizza video that fucking brought you. And maybe it just keep waiting for more beer and pizza videos you know even when I'm putting up really beautiful videos about a beautiful cute little creature Providence and all the, the, the beautiful little things he does and then you know it can get 200 views and then there's this five thumbs up what the fuck's wrong with you people just can you answer me that what the fuck is wrong with you it's one thing on a fucking button. That was fucking funny. I like that. I laughed all the way through the last Providence video. Where it's... <laughs> and nobody thought that was funny. It was cute. It was endearing. It was entertaining. Not enough to do. You, you're fucking dead. You know, people can go, Oh, you're better than this awake and brave. Um, it's all part and parcel of being a stupid cunt fucking ego human being and I'm engaging in it to the max. But fucking idiots, dead motherfuckers that just can't see uh, any joy in those videos and if they can see joy and they derive something from it and they don't want to, to give just a little bit it's not even giving anything is it it's not even actually giving anything you're not giving nothing away but what you're doing is when you put a thumb up you just go like uh, you show me that you appreciate the video and i'm like well, okay i'll do some more of those um and you show other people that you like that video uh, uh, so lots of people like that video i might like it too because that's what the idiots are like they need to say oh did anybody else like it if nobody else liked it and how do i know if i'm gonna like it well you watch it cunt and then you make it your own fucking opinion don't you but you know that's the level of muppetry out there and so you know making these videos i'll just keep making them making them making them because the universe is appreciating them and uh, God is appreciating them. And I am um, getting my payoff by uh, being ecstatic every single day of my life, being in superb fucking health with a superb level of consciousness and having everything that I ever dreamed and desired. That's what I'm getting out of it. And so I'll just keep on doing it. And uh, just, you know, keep exercising my, my um, supercilious, that's what I'm doing here, just kicking the fucking dog. Come on, have some of it, you dumb fucks. When are you going to wake the fuck up? When are you going to wake the fuck up? You know, because look, this extends, people, um, very, very deeply, because if you can't even be bothered to show the tiniest little bit of appreciation when you are watching somebody's effort. They've, they, they've gone to a lot of effort. I've gone to a lot of effort with this little baby of mine. And um, he's absolutely beautiful. And uh, I, I love him through and through. And um, if you can't appreciate that, then I just have to wonder, what are you actually appreciating? 
how do you appreciate? I mean, can you only appreciate with flick, 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 with 20 second videos <laughs> on Twitter, and then you go, <laughs> don't look, who you, 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 and then watch the next one, and then watch the next one, and you just need this constant fucking uh, high. You, 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 you feel so depressed and you're so low that you need these superficial highs all the time. If you are high in any case, then you just look at the world and you'd know that everything about it is beautiful. Even the Muppets. <laughs> fucking Muppets, I love them. It's great because like it's a constant source of um, yeah, um, my uh, psychology and my philosophy um, because the fucking the Muppets at one level feed me. Feed me, Steve Freed. <laughs> <laughs> you see what happens? I engage in the ego, but then I just fall back into being God. And that's what happens as I'm standing here now. I know I'm God. Plain at being an ego. This is fun. It's a cosmic giggle. It really is. And all these reeds now, they're all blowing around me. And they're all applauding. <laughs> yes, awake and brave, you've got it. You know exactly what's going on. And so they're all applauding and they're all dancing. Look at them. Animated, having a wonderful time. Under the elements, on planet Earth, on this beautiful, beautiful expression of love and life. And yet, there's donuts walking around that would never consider in a billion years that this is remotely worth looking at for more than a millisecond. Sad. Do you know how sad you are? Come on. There's some of you, well, lots of you watching, that you never do this. You never take the time because it means nothing to you. The only thing you want to do is Twitter. Because Twitter's giving you your dopamine. Because your life is so shit, you're desperate for, for, for a little bit of sunshine. The sunshine's up in the sky, fool. When are you going to look at it? When are you going to realise it? When are you going to bathe in it? Just a reflection of God. When are you going to bathe in it? And stop with this bullshit, egotistical, myopic shit that you're doing every day of your lives. Good God. Anyway, go and read some philosophy or watch some fucking psychology videos. Start, you know, do some research where you can get some fucking envy,